Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Divinely Destin. How are you? How is everything in your world, Taurus? I hope you're okay, and I pray God continues to bless you. This is going to be a general message for the sign of Taurus. We're going to go ahead and tap in to see what spirit has for you, Taurus. If you like the reading, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. I love you, Taurus. I changed your Michael. Can I get some messages for the sign of Taurus? We got the crown chakra. We have the crown chakra. You know, the crown chakra is located at the top of your head. Okay. Prosperity begins. You're thinking of a master plan, Taurus? We got prosperity begins. Okay. You are a earth sign. Okay. So you're deeply rooted to the earth. Beautiful. And we have the number eight. I have seven plus one. That's eight. Eight represents um, prosperity and abundance, power, authority. Okay, we got conflict and defeat, conflict and defeat, conflict and defeat. We have uh, memories of love, memories of love. Okay, wow, I have five, six, seven. So you may want to go look those numbers up five, six, seven. Somebody's missing you, Taurus, or you're missing someone else. Deception and envy. Ooh, deception and envy. Conflict and defeat. Deception and envy. What is going on with your reading, Taurus? Wow. Wow. We're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and see. We're gonna go ahead and see. Temptation? Wow. Movement, choices, and decisions. I'm feeling a lot of fast moving energy with this reading. I'll say you may be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This could be someone who deceived you and played you and manipulated you, kept a lot of conflict up in your life. This person was a big temptation for you, a big temptation, okay? But this person uh, was hiding a lot of secrets from you, Taurus. Okay, we have movement, choices, and decisions. Okay, yeah, this person quite possibly had multiple options, multiple people, multiple lovers, okay? Patience and planning. We have patience and planning. But I see that you do have prosperity begins and patience and planning. So although you've been hurt or deceived by someone, or you may not know that you're being deceived by someone, I'm here to tell you that there's someone deceptive in your energy. Okay, this person is full of drama. Okay, this person keeps a lot of conflict up. Okay, they're very deceptive. This could be somebody you're dating. Okay, this could be a relative. I'm picking up on like a homeboy type energy, like a friend type of energy. Okay, he may want to try to compete with you. He may do. He may do compete with you a lot. And maybe you're not aware that he sees you as competition, but he's hiding behind that role as a friend, you know, that fake friend. Okay? Yeah, obstacles and challenges. Obstacles and challenges. I definitely feel like this person is mimicking you, trying to be like you and wishing they were you because you are a Taurus. You're beautiful. You draw a lot of attention. You're stable. Your energy is very stable and humble, okay? This person most certainly is tempted, okay? He's tempted, but not like what you think tempted. I mean, temptation in terms of, uh, yeah, his energy is very bad, okay? We have memories of love. Now, if this is an ex-partner that you were dating, Taurus, this person uh, probably was cheating on you. I'm just going to tell you, okay? This, probably, this person was very deceptive. He was very greedy and envious. Wow, he definitely kept a lot of stuff up, okay? He probably had multiple partners on you, okay? Yeah, with deception and envy, conflict and defeat, and then you have patience and planning. So, yeah, a lot of this stuff was premeditated. A lot of his actions were premeditated, okay? Yeah, he tried everything. He put a lot of obstacles and blockages in your life. Possibly, if this is someone like an ex, Taurus, this person is keeping a lot of drama up because they don't want no one else to have you. They're thinking about you because I have memories of love. Okay, so let me try to piece this together. Taurus, we have two scenarios here. Either you have a friend that's around you, a male, this could be a female. Okay, this person is very deceptive. Okay, this person is very envious of you. Okay, they keep a lot of conflict up in your life because they feel defeated. Okay, this person, uh, yeah, they, they, they are a big temptation to you because I feel like you're loyal. And you always have this person around, but you need to watch this person. Because this person can set you up for the downfall because they're full of deception, okay? Now, if this is not a friend, this could be an ex-boyfriend, ex-husband, ex-wife, baby daddy, baby mama. Okay, they don't want no one to have you. They want to wreck your life. They're ruthless. 
They don't care about bringing you down or no one else down because they can't have you. Then, uh, yeah, they don't want no one else to have you, Taurus. Okay, so those are two of your situ uh, scenarios here. But we do have prosperity begins. Okay, you are a grounded earth sign. Okay, there's something new growing for you. There is something new growing for you, and that's love. Okay, maybe someone is trying to, uh, you know, keep drama going because they don't want no, else, no one else to have you. Yes, authoritative. You're the boss. You're that girl. You're that woman. Okay. You are in control of yourself. You don't, you're not like, I feel like this person is the polar opposite of you. Okay. Cause you're grounded and stable and reliable. And this person is kind of like emotional all over the place. Like the wild card Taurus. This is a wild card. You need to pretty much get this person out of your energy and around from around you because this person is just bad news. Point blank period. They don't want to see you happy. They don't want to see you prosper. They certainly don't want to see you get this new love. Okay. Use your wisdom. You are very wise. And you have wise counsel, uh, counsel in your energy. This may be a mother, a father, a grandfather, a uncle. Just go talk to this person. They give you help. They'll help you. They'll help you. Okay, wise counsel. Listen to your elders if this is not you. Um, you may need to listen to your own intuition too, Taurus. Yeah, we have the Ace of Wands. Fire energy. Okay, so most certainly this person, if this is an a, a ex- he was definitely uh, out there cheating. He had multiple lovers because we have temptation. Okay? We have temptation. Yes. Most certainly he had multiple lovers, multiple women. I hear slanging that thing, Taurus. He was just out here giving it away. But he wanted you to be the good girl at home. Okay? He's thinking about this. He's uh, He has memories of love. But don't go back to someone like this because he was just a cheater. Okay? I'm hearing easily led easily led astray by his uh, lust and desires, okay? His penis ran the show with this man, okay? He may he may have been a bouncer at a club, okay? Yeah, I'm seeing like a bouncer at a club or someone that uh, works security. Oh, Knight of Wands. We got the Knight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. This person was a player. He was a player and you got Temptation. This person, this person, your ex or whoever this person is, you will know if it resonates with you, okay? This person is a player. If this, could, if this is your ex, yes, he's cheated. She's cheated, okay? This person probably was in and out of your life, too, and in and out of multiple people's beds, okay? I don't want to be a player no more, okay? <laughs> we got the Three of Cups. More indication that this person has some mess up their sleeve, okay? You see these three women? This indicates third party. This indicates multiple women. So he could have been dealing with at least three other women here behind your back. This could also indicate that, yeah, yeah, I say he worked at a club. He was a bouncer. He worked some kind of security. I'm hearing nightlife, okay? Yeah, this person likes to party. He likes to drink. He likes to have beautiful women on his arm. That's why he chose you. Okay, but you were stable and you were grounded and you were more practical and uh, more focused on the material realm. And this person was just wow. Okay, this person certainly is not marriage material. And if you did marry someone like this, I'm sure you found out right away that he was a player. He was a cheater. He was a manipulator. He was deceptive. He caused a lot of strife in your life. He created a lot of blockages in your life. If you wonder why a lot of things didn't go the way you wanted it to go, it's because you had this person in your energy who was a blockage, okay? I'm hearing devil, right? Devil energy. This person wasn't wise. He was reckless. I'm hearing reckless. Multiple women, threesomes, a lot of partying. He was in and out, in and out of your life, in and out of others' bed, okay? He was never stable. This person is, uh, I'm seeing a lot of red, and red, you know, red is love and lust and temptation. He was very flirty, very aggressive too, but he had that little sneaky, smiley side, you know? He could charm, yeah, he was a charmer, okay? Woo! Ten of Wands. Okay, I don't know if this is you, Taurus. Okay, this person could uh, definitely, yeah, most certainly this is you. He brought a lot of burdens in your life. He kept all these swords and you know on your back. You was you was you was basically carrying the weight of uh, the relationship here because you were stable. Okay, you were reliable, and you were carrying the weight for two people. You got to let this go because this person is just trash. Okay, look, death, Scorpio energy. This could have been a Scorpio you were dealing with. Scorpio is the opposite of Taurus, I believe. 
Okay? Yeah. Don't let him come back and say, I changed. I want to make it work. That's game. Be up on that game. That's, that's not true. He hasn't changed, okay? He, he could be the death of you if you continue to stay with him because he may bring you a dreaded disease that you won't be able to get rid of. Because I don't see that this person is using protection. I feel like he's just out here in these streets sleeping with everybody, okay? Yes, strength. You are very strong. You could be dealing with a Leo. This person could have been a Leo, right? Use your strength, okay, Taurus? Be strong. You are a bull, okay? But he doesn't want to piss you off, okay? Because I see that bull can go to raging. And I don't think this person ever brought out this side of you, okay? And you don't want this person to bring out that side of you. But just be strong. Spirit is saying be strong. Continue to move forward. You've already seen the signs that this person was a cheater. And probably you already knew before you even clicked on this reading that you were dealing with someone that was not good for you. You're stable. The Ace of Pentacles. You got your money coming in. Okay, you got abundance in your life. You got an abundant amount of uh, resources I'm hearing as well. So you may have multiple jobs. You may have multiple ventures. Okay, you have multiple streams of income. You're abundantly blessed. Okay, if your finances are not where they want to be, you may be getting a financial boost soon, Taurus. Okay, hang in there. We're going to take one more or two more. Two more. <laughs> Ten of Cups. Yes, I said you were stable. So this is definitely, I'm, I'm looking for the Empress, okay? Yeah, this is someone you possibly live with, Taurus. He could have been someone you lived with and had a house with, a home. You could have had children with this person. This certainly could have been your husband, your wife, your aunt, baby daddy, like I stated, baby mom. Okay, you were home. You were you were the trophy. You were the trophy. You was, you was wifey. You was wifey, but he wasn't ready for wifey because he was still out here in these streets. He couldn't appreciate you. He couldn't appreciate your kind of love. You, you guys are totally incompatible. I'm just going to tell you. It's like night and day here, okay? This is not a compatible match. You deserve uh, commitment because you can give commitment, Taurus. Okay, don't don't settle for uh, this garbage because you can do better, okay? He had multiple lovers. He has a lover as we speak, okay? He's whining and dining someone as we speak. You took care of the home, okay? You take care of your home. You continue to take care of your home. Taurus, be on the lookout for the, uh, the sign, okay? A B. You may see a lot of bees around you. This is confirming that communication is coming in. This person may want to call you or text you. Just don't even answer the phone, Taurus. This could also indicate that you have a great love out there in the universe that's waiting to come into your life or who may already be in your life, okay? But keep your options open at this time. If you are single, just don't settle for anything because there's a lot of temptation in your energy field. So, yeah, you deserve to be treated with love, loyalty, respect, and dedication. Don't settle for nothing less. I love you, Taurus. God bless.